violent clashes erupted at the University of California in Los Angeles on Wednesday between pro-Palestinian protesters and a group of counter-demonstrators, as reported by live video coverage from a U.S. broadcaster. The UCLA student newspaper Daily Bruin detailed that supporters of Israel attempted to dismantle a pro-Palestinian protest encampment on the campus. Police were called to the scene following a request for support from UCLA Chancellor Jean Block, according to Zach Seidel, Los Angeles Deputy Mayor of Communications, as reported by X. The October 7 attack on southern Israel by Hamas militants from Gaza and the ensuing Israeli offensive on the Palestinian enclave have unleashed the biggest outpouring of US student activism since the anti-racism protests of 2020. Aerial footage revealed individuals wielding sticks or poles, using them to attack wooden boards held up as makeshift barricades protecting pro-Palestinian protesters, some of whom held placards or umbrellas. In a separate incident late on Tuesday, New York City police arrested numerous pro-Palestinian demonstrators who had occupied an academic building on the Columbia University campus in New York. The police also dismantled a protest encampment that the Ivy League school had been attempting to remove for nearly two weeks. Tensions on U.S. college campuses have risen since Hamas October 7 attack when militants killed about 1,200 people and took more than 200 hostages. Israel's retaliatory assault on Gaza has killed more than 34,000 people, according to its health ministry. Reports of anti-Semitic acts have surged across America and particularly on college campuses since October 7. Islamophobia has surged alongside the recent wave of protests, intensifying tensions and prompting campus leadership to navigate the delicate balance between free speech and perceived threats. The protests reached a fever pitch in the mid-April at Columbia University, coinciding with President Minush Shafiq's testimony before a House committee regarding the university's handling of allegations of campus anti-Semitism. Simultaneously, a pro-Palestinian protest ignited on campus. In response to these events, Shafiq issued a letter made public by the university urging the New York City Police Department to remove individuals encamped on the south lawn of the campus, citing violations of university rules and policies, as well as trespassing. Law enforcement subsequently arrested over 100 people. These encampments were orchestrated by Columbia University Apartheid Divest, a student-led coalition comprising over 100 organizations including Students for Justice in Palestine and Jewish Voice for Peace. They aimed to protest what they view as the university's ongoing financial support for corporations profiting from Israeli apartheid, genocide and military occupation of Palestine as outlined in a CUAD news release. Pro-Palestinian encampments have since proliferated on campuses across the US, including at institutions such as the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Emerson College, the University of Texas at Austin, the University of Michigan, the University of Southern California, and the University of California, Berkeley. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.